We got Jeff in the back. Brent, to your left. Yes, sir. Can you describe this night, I guess, from both the basketball perspective and from the pregame ceremony? Um, you know, I thought the pregame ceremony was great. You know, it was a very emotional night um, for everyone involved. You know, our team, our athletic program, community, fans. Um, you know, it's kind of. You know, kind of through that tragedy, it kind of brought everyone closer together. I think that was kind of exemplified tonight. Um, so very thankful that we were all able to have that moment and share that moment with one another. Um, for the basketball side of things, you know, I think the word coach used was gritty, not always pretty, or something along the lines of that. Um, you know, it's a first win. You know, they're a very scrappy team, um, play a very different style than we do, so it's always a tough matchup. Um, but you know what? We um, stuck in there, and it was gritty, not always pretty, but we got the win. Jim in the back. Go ahead, Jeff. Kobe, um, we talked the other day, and you talked about what Alondo Tucker said to you in the locker room after that loss to St. Mary's. It, I'm assuming you took that to heart, and is that some of what we saw tonight, especially early, Kobe, you attack? Uh, yeah, he just uh, told me after that last game, just uh, took him a lot of games like that, kind of struggling uh, to get to where he was. So, uh, like I told you, that's something that really hit home, and. Uh, the coaches definitely were feeding me confidence and just said, you know, it's a long season. You got to stay aggressive, but uh, get better and learn from it. And I think it was a, uh, another step forward tonight. So We were telling them to be aggressive, too. Yeah, and, and, and the teammates. I'll give them credit. Jeff. Kobe, piggybacking off that a little bit, was, was, was the idea to get to the rim more often? It seemed like you were, you were very much in attack mode. Um, yeah, that's kind of how, how I've been throughout practice. And then... Uh, St. Mary, I just got a little rattled early on, and I kind of uh, took my foot off the pedal. And then, again, my teammates and coaches just said, get back to that attack mode. Like, you're going to make mistakes, but uh, we want you making mistakes, being aggressive. So uh, that's kind of what I try to do tonight, and then uh, try to do what I can to help the team win. Jeff. Nate, I don't know if you knew where you were in terms of the number of block shots tonight. Did you? Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. <laughs> did you? Did you? What? Did you hear the students hoping that you would get a chance? Oh, yeah, I heard, I heard them. But no, I'm still going for the blocks. Coach kind of got mad at me at the end because they finally started passing the ball out of it. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was going to block them. <laughs> And we're only two games in the season. Um, is it fair to say it might take you guys some time to kind of find yourself, find an identity uh, with so many guys in new roles? Is that I think that's fair to say? For sure. I think that's true with every team. When we have people coming back, um, you know, when everyone has a year to develop and fit new roles and guys leave and guys come in, that always takes an adjustment period. Um, you know, I think that is mostly on the offensive end and, you know, getting back into motion, new guys, new roles, seeing the space into the floor. Um, but, you know, we're, we're confident in our guys, and we'll figure it out. Shots will fall. Um, but so I think that's kind of true with every team. So I think it's definitely true with us as well. To follow, up on, to follow up on that, Brad, do you think that's been the result of, like, the three-point shooting? Because uh, you guys <coughs> believe you're good perimeter shooters. But the numbers, even though it's just two games in, probably <laughs> don't, yeah, I know, don't support that. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's more than belief. You know, we're with each other every day. We see we got this new shot tracker system. We know how, how well we can shoot in practice when we're in the gym by ourselves. Um, you know, averages average out. So, you know, we were a little shaky the first two games, and that'll average out over the next few. Um, and that we have that confidence in ourselves and also in our teammates because we know how much time we put into it. Um, so making shots isn't something you can always control, but the quality of shots is something you can. I think we've had pretty good quality of shots um, in both games. So that's kind of the goal. Um, keep creating shots for ourselves, but also one another good quality shots. We know they'll fall. Jim in the back. Kobe, when there were the three, uh, kind of the stretch run there, uh, what's the mindset? And, and what were you guys talking about in huddles or on the court? Just about kind of where that game was at. Um, uh, like Brad said, Coach Guard said that it was going to be uh, gritty. It was going to be a dog fight. So I think coming in, it was kind of something we were prepped for. Uh, it wasn't like it was a, a punch in the face that we, we didn't see coming. So. Uh, we knew that uh, eventually if we stuck to our game, stuck to our principles, that uh, eventually we'd be able to pull away and go on a little run, and, and we did that. So I think that was a, a good test for us early in the season to see uh, how we kind of dealt with some adversity again, like you said, with new roles and new lineups. So um, I think we handled it pretty well. 
Jim. One more, Brad. Uh, Brevin, during that 15 0 run, was, was pretty <coughs> instrumental in both scoring and rebounding. How, how big was it to see him kind of provide a little bit of everything during that stretch? It was huge. You know, he's going to be huge for us. He's definitely an X factor. Um, you know, he's one of the best shooters in the country. We get to see it every day, and we're always on him to stay confident and to keep shooting. Because um, not only does it get him going, but it opens, it opens up the floor for everyone else. Um, and so we always know he's going to be a good shooter, but he always brings that effort and energy. Um, on the rebounding, you know, whether it's loose balls, defensive end, um, he definitely had his nose and his face in a lot of things tonight. So that's big time. Uh, definitely those kind of plays are energy plays that we all feed off of. Um, so it's huge to get him going, and we expect that to continue. Brad, it seemed uh, at points during the game, any ball that was going in, Nate was sending it back. So what's it like playing defense when you've got somebody that can uh, maybe make up for some mistakes and, and protect the rim? Yeah, he got a little, <clears throat> excuse me, he got a little bit of a safety net back there. Um, you know, his, his length, his timing, um, he's definitely worked on it a lot. Uh, we see it in practice every day, um, so we're not surprised by it. Um, it's definitely a little safety net that allows us to take a little bit more chances. Um, and I think that's kind of the, that's the challenge of it, to make sure that you stay disciplined even though you have um, you know, a shot blocker behind you. Stay disciplined to your rules. Um, it definitely covers up a lot of errors that we may have, whether it's early in the game, late in the game. Um, so like I said, I just um, describe it as a safety net, and every team uh, and all the players enjoy having a good safety net. One more question right up front here. Kobe, can you just take us through the dunk that you had along the baseline? Yeah. Just, uh, you know, what did you see on that play? And then just take us through it. Oh, we were talking about in practice the day before. Uh, if we kind of got a couple swings and got them shifted, they would have to rotate over late. And uh, me and Coach Tucker were talking about, because uh, Coach Garden goes two points, two points regardless. And Coach Tucker goes, nah, sometimes a dunk gets like five points. <laughs> you get the crowd into it, like you're feeling good. And then it, well, when I saw that little gap, I, I, I kind of took off and I uh, made eye contact with him right after. It was, it was pretty neat. So uh, hopefully a few more of those throughout the year. Okay, thanks, fellas. <laughs>